Intel's 12th generation Old Lake CPUs have been the big success that Intel desperately needed, and with the performance crown retaken, at least temporarily, until 5800X3D comes out, but while the Z690 chipset was all well and good, it did make the price of going with Intel's Old Lake CPUs that much higher. But now the combination of a budget chipset combined with some really good value CPUs like the 12600K could mean that Intel could be the definitive option for even more budget oriented gamers. And seeing how B660 is already going to slash the price of the chipset in half for the consumer, I mean, I think they have a really good thing going on here. And on paper, people won't be losing too much by going B660. Now one big thing you will be losing out on if you go B660 is PCIe Gen 5, because these boards will not support it. However, seeing how there's like no cards that support it so far, it probably won't be too big of a loss for too many people. However, one thing that may affect you is the PCIe lanes, because you are losing out on a lot, as B660 is down to 14 compared to 28 of Z690. And some B660 motherboards already have warnings on the websites that certain PCIe slots may not work if there's another expansion card installed elsewhere on the board, so that's something to look out for. You'll be also losing out on some USB connectivity, because while the Z690 chipset can apparently manage up to 4 USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 20 gigabit per second ports, and I still hate how confusing those USB names are now, but whatever, while with B660 you can only have a total of 2 of those. But PCIe lanes and USB connectivity are not the only things that I couldn't have on B660, because when it comes to SATA, you're also only getting 4 maximum SATA connectors compared to the 8 on Z690. So like I said earlier, many of these things probably won't affect too many consumers, and people will still absolutely buy these boards just because they are way cheaper. And hopefully that just means that more people will be able to get their hands on these awesome new Intel Old Lake CPUs. And if you want to know exactly which B660 mode board you should buy, then make sure to subscribe to the channel, because I'll be making tons of videos on specific models in the coming days. But if you like this video and you want to help support the channel, then make sure to check out our Patreon down in the video description below, because even just one single dollar month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks with it. And also to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Meg Sumner, Sean Warcroft, Lansby, and Coming Edge Clothing. Thank you guys so, so much, support truly goes a long way. Then you're also going to find our merch store, our Amazon Associates links if you want to pick up a Intel Old Lake CPU yourself, plus and it's also our Discord server if you want to talk to me or is that this or whatever else really, plus and there's our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in the video I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.